fishermen discover a massive 10,000 year old Irish elk skull Though the ancient species was not exclusively found in Ireland more remains of these deer have been found in that country than anywhere else in the world a fisherman and his assistant were out on the lake bed of Loch Ney in Northern Ireland when they reeled in the farthest thing from their usual catch Ray McElroy and his assistant Charlie Coyle were shocked when they hooked a massive pair of elk antlers with the skull almost fully intact as it turned out their catch was not only unexpected but historic as the ancient skull dates back to more than 10,500 years according to live science the two were fishing just about a half mile from shore where the waters are no more than 20 feet deep when they discovered the elk skull I thought it was the devil himself Coyle told the Irish Times I was going to throw it back I didn't know what to do with it the skull and antlers once belonged to a now extinct ancient species known as the Irish elk the skull and antlers measure about six feet across which gives a sense of just how enormous these creatures were when they once roamed the earth indeed the Irish elk was one of the largest species of deer to ever exist this species has now been extinct for more than 10,000 years the name Irish elk is a misleading one however as these creatures are neither elks nor exclusively found in Ireland these massive animals are technically categorized as deer and could be found in Europe Asia and Africa when they were still alive the Irish elk name comes from the fact that the remains of these creatures are most commonly found in the lakes and bogs of Ireland more often than in other parts of the world according to Mike Sims a paleontologist at the Ulster Museum in Belfast these deer were once able to live in the Irish grass plains when the weather and environment suited them it's the really first good one I've seen in 20 years Sims said of the latest find in an interview with Belfast live They've been extinct since 10,500 to 11,000 years ago in Ireland. When forests began to grow, their massive antlers didn't allow them to navigate as easily as they did when they roamed the open plains. Sim said that giant antlers weren't great in the forest, and ultimately, environmental change is what caused their extinction. There have been other Irish elk remains found at the same lake. In 1987, a fisherman named Felix Conlin discovered a set of antlers attached to a skull which he later gave to a local school to display then in 2014 another fisherman named Martin Kelly found a lower jawbone from an Irish elk at Loch Ney that was estimated to be at least 14,000 years old not far from the same spot where McElroy and Coyle found their Irish elk skull McElroy believes that the lower jawbone actually might match with the elk skull he just discovered although experts haven't yet confirmed his theory